triphasic waves are high amplitude positive waves seen with maximal amplitude in the frontal head regions. So this is an EEG. Just for the sake of orientation, you have the, I'll use some colors here. So you have the left hemisphere recording here. As we discussed this in EG 101, labels which end with an odd number, so 1, 3, P301, these are odd numbers, so this is recording from the left hemisphere, and this is, these are all even numbers recording from the right hemisphere. So triphasic waves, as I mentioned, have a positive deflection. So this is the positive deflection that we are talking about. This goes here and here, and it is preceded and followed by two negative deflections. So this is one negative deflection here and the other negative deflection here. So all together you have the first phase, you have the second phase, and you have the third phase. So these are the triphasic waves and you see number of those triphasic waves you see here and both in the left hemispheres FP1, F3 and in the right hemisphere FP2 and F4. As you note that the highest amplitudes are in the frontal region here and these extend all the way back to the occipital lobe. Now I'll draw a line just to show you that there is a lag that has been described between the frontal triphasic wave to the occipital as it progresses from the frontal to the temporal there is a lag there. So we'll draw the lag I'll use a red color here so if I put my pointer at the apex here and I draw it all the way to the occipital region you see that there is a lag between here and here so this lag has been described with triphasic waves has not been typically described with electrographic seizures and you see that there is some degree of periodicity between all these triphasic waves so these seem to come at a specific interval but you do not see a whole lot of evolution. There is some waxing and waning, but you do not see a whole lot of evolution in the in the waveforms. I'll move on to the next page just to show you some more examples of the triphasic waves here. So you have the first phase is here, you have the second phase, the so two negative phases, and then you have a positive phase. The highest amplitude is at the positive waves. Triphasic waves have been described in a number of conditions. Initially these were described with hepatic encephalopathy. So I'll write down a number of, so you have hepatic encephalopathy. Hepatic encephalopathy, so triphasic waves have been described with that. Okay, these are also described with CO2 retention. So CO2 retention. So if someone has a respiratory failure and then they are retaining CO2, you can see that. You can see that with uremia. You can see it with number of other metabolic conditions such as hyponatremia. You can see triphasics with mixed edema coma in patients who are taking lithium. You can see these waves in lithium intoxication. And you can also see these in hypoxic insults. You can see in drug overdose. You can see it following a seizure. So this is a non-specific pattern but when you see the triphasic waves you need to be able to differentiate between triphasic waves and electrographic seizures. You need to know that these are non-specific high amplitude positive waves with highest amplitudes in the frontal head region and you need to be able to differentiate these from epileptiform discharges. 
that's it for today thank you